Let's see what this. This is that uh that Spider-Man anime looking giant. 大家好,很高興在這裡和大家分享。Hi everyone. Oh my god, I got to read subtitles. Let me put this in full screen. Gotta, uh, hi everyone. We're very excited to introduce our game project Mugen. He's talking, but it's not changing. You will play as an investigator searching for and researching chaos. Traveling the world, making friends, and facing dangerous adventures together. Right, right, right. We hope that Project Mew can bring a fresh way to experience freshly exploring an urban metropolis. What is Shorty swinging on? Combining the feeling of freedom with the metropolis vibe. Translation, we spent a lot of time on traversing the environment. They said, we're gonna, they said, we noticed you guys noticed that in the trailer, it looks like you're flying around, you're swinging around like Spider-Man. Well, guess what, bitch? Because you are. Let's <laughs> go, we're doing that procedurally. Wait, that, did he say procedurally? Yo, slow down, slow down, slow down. Technology that procedurally generates city environments, allowing us to quickly build an entire city. Does that mean everybody's city is going to be different? Or they just procedurally generated the levels and then they said, this is the city. Yo, shout out to Joy Boy with the with the sub. I'm curious to what that means exactly. This is which together create a complete and vibrant urban landscape right before our eyes. Uh, in a city this large, how can characters... Nah. Bruh, large, how can an urban environment... Insomniac needs to lawyer up. Insomniac doesn't have a case. You can't copy like sh like unless they unless they copy the code like verbatim. That you can't copyright like swinging. They're not the first person to invent swing. There's there was plenty of other Spider-Man games before Insomniacs. Not only that, but then you also have like games like what's that old Capcom game? They tried to bring it back and it failed. What's that old Capcom game that starred the soldier and he had the hook arm and he could swing too? Like, Spider-Man is not the first game where motherfuckers was swinging and shit. They don't have a case on this. As long as it's, like, original animations, like, they should be fine. It's just a case of them drawing inspiration. Bionic Soldier. Thank you, hi. Thank you. Uh, yeah, bi or Bionic... No, it's Bionic Commando. My bad. Red Sage is right. It's Bionic Commando. You was close, though, hi. Close enough. Um... Always been out of our minds. Movement, like, swinging, grappling. Yo, the water looks beautiful. Like if if like low key this has potential because it's an MMO. So like imagine what I said would take. I've been said what would take Spider Man two to the next level is if that shit had co op and like you could one person plays as Peter and one plays as Miles. Like imagine swinging around the city. They didn't do it. What if this game does it? You get to create your own big titty anime bitch. You can create your own big. You know, BBC anime stud if you want and swing around the city with your homies on some Spider-Man shit. That sounds pretty fun to me. <laughs> as long as the mission structure is fun. Between different uh... Yeah, the movement looks fun. We have striven to ensure the game showcases lively urban life. You enjoying Remnant? Shout out to you. Indoor scenes are seamlessly integrated into external world. Enable players to easily explore shops and stores while exploring. That's a bold claim. How many how many buildings can you actually run into? And how many buildings actually have interesting things to do and see is the question. Uh, BBC Spider-Man. Hell yeah. Sunset Overdrive 2? Shit, maybe. The lively outdoor scene and vivid cutscene the unique gameplay that's close to life. With uh, you can experience a fascinating urban life from Project even without leaving her. What's the mission structure, though? They're just talking about the city. What's the mission structure? Yo, shout out to God damn. We're going to have to sit here for a while, chat. I like money. Hello. I like money. Hello. I like money. Oh, shit. I just. Oops, I fucked it up. There you go. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Black Math Nerd for the five gifted subs. Shout out to Eli Superfly, who must have just got paid today because he just dropped 20 subs in a chat. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. Yes, sir. Like money. He said, let me get a dollar. I'm broke, bro. I am broke. 
like money. Hold up one Hello. second. Yeah, let me make sure this damn Twitter stream is on too. I like money. Hello. Oh yeah, that's new. I see um like that's cool. That's different from like last week. They dead ass are listening. That's good. I like to see when a company listens. Like I'm live on Twitter right now, and like if you're on my profile, it literally says I'm live right there, so you can click it. That's pretty cool. So not before it was just showing on the timeline. Will that actually help? I don't know, but that's cool. Shout out to the people who also drop subs. I like that. I might have to start streaming on Twitter more now. Uh, yo, shout out to Savage with the five gifted subs. Uh, we gonna we gonna, we gonna sit in here again. I like money. Hello, I like money. Did they ban you on TikTok again? Uh, I don't know. I'm not checking it like that. I don't even care if they ban me. Shit don't be doing nothing. Let me see if I'm still live over there. <laughs> I'm still live. Uh, all right, back to the game though. Shout out to Savage with the five gifted subs. We about to hit. It's been a while since we hit the sub goal, so I appreciate y'all, man. Uh, did you like playing the first ascendant? I did. I just don't know if I have the time to grind it like that. It's too many games. We will further explore the diversity and possibilities. There's so much to look forward to, so please stay tuned. When discussing urban exploration, our designers pointed out that objects on the street should not just be decorations, but also things to vandalize and utilize. That's what I want to see combat. And we believe that offering a sort of freedom is what really matters and makes the game project. So it's got destruction. I wonder if Project Mutant's gonna, Mugen's gonna stay, are they gonna change it? My thing is TikTok has no real appeal system unless you contact them directly. There's an appeal button at the end if you go to your stream sections. That's how I get out of jail. That's all for now. Thank you. We hope that you enjoy Project Mugen's Metropolis. <laughs> I think they saw the reaction to the initial like reveal trailer. Because like the initial reaction from the internet is like, yo, this game is moving like Spider-Man. This looks pretty cool. They said, oh, we need to drop a trailer talking about the movement. Hopefully they drop more developer diaries actually explaining what's the core gameplay loop outside of the traversal. Like you have my attention, but I need to see what the core gameplay loop is. Because it's kind of looking like Genshin Impact meets Spider-Man. I want to see what else is different. Yeah, I seen Counter-Strike 2 um, launch today. I'm going to play it sometime this week to see what it's about. I might like do a video about it, uh, Ronan. I know, I saw, I saw a video. Like They did like a surprise Beyonce type of um, launch for that joint. Yeah, Black Myth Wukong is a day one cop. Absolutely. We're we going to be on that joint. We're going to be on that joint. You have my attention, but not my wallet. That's facts. Speaking of Genshin Impact. Yo, shout out to Super Crawl Dad with the sub. I appreciate you. Let's see what In else Fontaine, is popular. Where the world's waters converge, the stage blurs the line between drama and reality. Right. But high above the histrionics stands a solemn figure whose demeanor seems at odds with. When does Black Myth drop? Sometime next year, I believe. They, there's not a definitive release date. Nervillette is extremely adept at using Hydro. Have you played Genshin yet? Yeah, I, I streamed Genshin a handful of times. I've been said I like the game. Like Genshin Impact is a good game. The problem is, is a gotcha title. Um, I, it, Genshin Impact is like a mix of um, Breath of the Wild meets like Anthem or like Mass Effect. Because it has like that same combat system where like it has that detonation and prime, the prime and detonation system. Yo, shout out to Liquid Negus with the sub. It has that same prime and detonation system where like certain abilities combo with other ones to do more damage. So like the, the gameplay is fun to me in the exploration, but like unlocking the characters are a bitch in this game. And that's what made me stop playing it. Yo, shout out to Modern with the gifted sub. And then I tried Tower, I, sh I, sh I tried Tower of Fantasy, and it was like the same as Genshin Impact. It was too much with trying to unlock the characters. That's why I'm interested in Project Mugen. One of the, when one of these anime games gets the business model correct in combination with the gameplay, I think that's the one. Genshin Impact like opened the door, but I feel like there's a there's still space for a game that can blow down the door and take it like to the next level but they got to get the business yeah the, it was too much of a paywall and i didn't want to sit there and roll dice to unlock characters and shit like that uh self seems to be at his beck and call Surely this power i'm about to beat my best record keep up the support really god damn despite having is the xbox series s worth it i like it it's a good platform training nervillette's diving skills are vastly superior to the ordinary. mk1 is officially mid Speaking of that, I just got the, my video back from my editor. It should be up tomorrow. Why you say it's mid, though, Tate? I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying why you feel that way. Is in the God damn, what's going on today? 
money. Yo, shout out to Super Crawdad with the 10 gifted subs. Is it payday? What's going on, chat? I appreciate y'all. What's going on, man? I like money. End of the week. I just need that Elden Ring DLC. Nah, that's facts. I'm waiting for that shit, too. I like money. That series is a perfect for Game Pass only, people. Yeah, if you're on a budget, I, like, I, I had a Series S, and when I was in when I was working at G4, I bought another Xbox. I bought a Series S for my um my desk when I had like free time, because a lot of times it was like a hurry up and wait game where like they would call me into the studio at like seven eight in the morning. We'd shoot a skit at like nine, and then I was free till like one two o'clock. So I would play games on my Xbox if I wasn't writing something. Hell no, I ain't playing no damn Resident Evil Four DLC, nigga. The fuck. Dude? Underwater sprint speed is increased for your own party members. Yo, shout out to Black King with the subs. Let's normal attack calls forth the waves with his cane, performing up to three strikes that deal hydro damage. And my time, my time with my Series S, like, I, it does 1440p. It's not much difference between that and the Xbox Series X, to be honest. Like, it, it worked fine for me. While charging, no I don't give a fuck about this shit. Why am I watching this? <laughs> Yo, Ved, what the hell is Ved? Oops, I have to go to work. You gonna play bug pay? No, fuck no. This shit already looks stiff as hell. And there's Cyrus. You possess a supernatural ability. Teleportation. Do you remember anything at all? And this is, uh, fuck no. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the front. The front lines grow dark. The club. Press one in the chat if you got a baddie fronting on you. So for more. Monsters run rampant, and the world your mama runs rampant. Look like it's made from AI, right? Return to the past and alter. Yeah, let's return to some gameplay. I don't care about the story. See, 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 see. This is why you can't get hyped off the fucking story dialogue and shit. Return to the past with big guns and shit. Another shitty Steam Early Access survival game. First person with probably a shitty UI with a, a big checkered board UI. Yeah, another forest type of game. Zombies. People would be making fun of me because I'd be skimming through these trailers. Because let me tell you something, bruh. There's a lot of different currencies, but one piece of currency you cannot get back is time. That's the one piece of currency you cannot get back is your time. You will not waste mine. Trust and believe. We good off this. Um, let's see. Naruto, Baruto, Ultimate Ninja Storm, Connections, official game system trailer. Get a deep dive into the game system on Naruto and Baruto. The game systems? What the fuck? If you're on Xbox, you just spam B. If you're on PlayStation, you spam Circle. What? What? What de what requires a five minute trailer? Yo, what? <laughs> Yo, shout to worst user title with the sub. I appreciate it, bro. What requires a five minute trailer? Let's find out. The newest entry of the Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm series has finally arrived. Packed with stunning new graphics, new features, and powerful ninjutsu coming together in the next level of ninja battle. The story of Naruto and Sasuke is retold in one game for the first time. Plus, there's even more with an exclusive new original story that's never been seen before. Ooh, Let's a new original story. How long it would it would have helped? You know what would help sell this game? Okay, you have my attention now. New original story. How much content is is that in the game? Like, it's a new original six hour story in there. Okay, now you have my attention. But my gut tells me this is a new thirty minute mission. And I was like, who the fuck talking? It's Bluey, my bad. You scared me, dude. Like, <laughs> the best Naruto this nigga game squeezing yet. the Bluey in the background. In this game, ninjas from Naruto's early days up to Boruto's generation join the battle. With 10 new characters and a total of over 130 playable ninjas, this game has the largest roster ever. Ah, the largest roster ever. I don't understand how you, like, he doesn't sound very excited. Two hour new story for 70 bucks. Foundation of Battle is made up of melee attack combos. See the variety of combos each character can offer. Extend your combos by changing leaders and use their unique skills. Quickly evade attacks with substitution jutsu. That's not new. What? Use it strategically because they can't be used forever. 
The visuals, am I am I bugging or the visuals don't even seem like they're improved? It looks like it's running off the same engine as the last few games. Like, am I am I watching? I'm watching this in 1080p too. Two can be used by charging up chakra. Be close to your opponent and activate your ninjutsu. To That's the best Hokage, by the way. Feel the intense action. From this game, the number of ninjutsu for each character has been doubled. Besides me. This means in a three-man squad, you can now fucking through a whole game cube at him. See the newly evolved battles when you activate multiple ninjutsu. So when you make a trailer and you label it, you're gonna show off the game systems. I expect you to show off the game systems, meaning do like a deep dive. Like we have a new combo system, a new counter system, and the way to activate it is you hold this button and this button. And then you do this, that, and the third. This motherfucker's in this trailer talking about do combos, extend combos, and battle ninjutsus. And it's just literally, like, it's not, what it, they haven't shown a single fucking system. You can now teleport. You can do that in the last five games. When your HP is low, you can turn the tide of battle with awakening mode. In this oh, okay, that's new. That's new, I think. Reform. Characters gain enhanced strength and abilities to stage a comeback. Oh, so they added rage arts or, um... <laughs> What's that shit in Mortal Kombat? When when you about to die and you can do an ult, they added. Oh, it's not. I, I stand corrected. Uh, yeah, comeback mechanics. Uh, I stand corrected. Then save up your chakra and unleash your secret tech. Fatal blow. Yeah, they added fatal blow. If you form teams with specific characters, you can trigger combination secret techniques. Experiment with different teams to see all the possible combinations. Now you learn what Why would I experiment? Some YouTuber's gonna ruin it by day one. All right, guys, here's the best combinations in the Rudo de Brutal Storm Ultimate Ninja Collection. Means to oppose the color. Simple control is a new control mode option that unleashes a series of attacks more. So this was the most confusing part about this game, right? They announced like months ago that they're adding a new simple controls mode. And as you can see, because they're pointing to it right here on the lower left, you can do auto combos by spamming the circle button. Now, what did I say earlier when this trailer first started? If you're on Xbox, you spam B. And if you're on PlayStation, you spam circle. It's in the same controls translate. It's, in, it's the same fucking button, right? How is this a new control scheme? This is what you did in all the other fucking games. It's always been simple. So who is this for? And how is this new? This is this is this is false advertisement. This is a class action lawsuit, baby. Easily. Complex action sequences are activated by pressing the attack button. You can customize characters in your own style, including cool. You can add shades to Sasuke now in cat ears? Game of the year. Suit outfits and matching accessories. Improve your fighting skills with your favorite ninja. Items such as titles and finished scenes are also attainable. In free battle, there are multiple types of battles you can fight. For example, survival is solo play mode against a computer where you can set the rules, like starting the battle in awakening mode. Online battle, go against players from all around the world. Enjoy you can communicate with other players before the battle. With Why would I do this? Why would I do this? Just put voice chat in the game so I can call him a bitch. New features like chat and stamp. That's what makes Mortal Kombat fun. Also exchange ninja info cards after the battle and bond with players from around the world. Yeah, I want to bond with people? In history, I'm getting disappointed looking at this. Epic story highlights from the past series. <sighs> you can replay the games you've already played in the last few. <laughs> Itachi! It's because I have it's here now! And old fans of Naruto. Yo, shout out to Tom Barry with the five gifted subs in the chat. People being mad generous today. I appreciate everybody dropping them subs. And enjoy the latest entry in the Ultimate Ninja Storm series. What? Sasuke a bitch? Damn. When I went into the darkness! That's my ninja way! You should know that Go back to the online battle and read what it says in the top corner. What'd I miss? Let's see, free battle. Online battle. Online custom matchmaking will be implemented post launch. What does that mean? Online custom matchmaking. What does that mean? Enjoy casual match or challenge yourself by playing break match. I'm confused because somebody explained that to me. No private lobbies. Uh <laughs> 
I'm so glad. I was so glad you said that, bro. All right. So, like you said, gentlemen, they, they almost they almost got me. <laughs> they almost got me, bro. I'm so glad that you said that in the chat. This nigga said, so no private lobbies. So, they use fancy PR confusion words on to say no private. They should have just said, this game will not feature private lobbies at launch, but we will add it later. But instead, they said, online custom matchmaking will be uh, implemented post-launch. Now, if that confused, if that confused me, <laughs> the guy who's been running a gaming podcast for 10 years, we sit here, we read the news every fucking day on stream. If that confused me, I'm sure that confused somebody else too. That doesn't keep in the loop. Cause I was like, what the fuck does that mean? That fancy PR law. And then he said in the chat, no private lobbies. I was like, oh, that makes sense. That's it. Yeah. Hey, right, Dizzy. You, you almost got me, bro. The kind we need the Kanye meme. Gotcha. Gotcha. It's their way of trying not to catch heat on that ass, basically. That's fucking funny, bro. You can re-experience this goofy ass game. From the past. So we have uh, so not it's it's a trend, right? Not only did Mortal Kombat launch with no private lobbies, we've got another game. Naruto Boruto Ultimate Ninja Storm Connections is launching with no private lobbies, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. You want to play with your friends? Fuck you. Itachi. What else do we got in this game? The new generation of ninjas take the stage in a thrilling new story. We're going to talk about new generation of ninjas, and then we're going to have Sasuke and Naruto clash, because that makes sense. Loser. Naruto. When are you going to? Just... Uh, you sound horny. <laughs> Naruto, when are you going to blow my back? <laughs> hey, buddy. He's like, I'm mad horny, bro. What, what are you? Are you? Wait, Big you booty. Seriously going to war? In other words, I will destroy the current ninja world and bring back a All right, special ninja Countless move. fights. Spanning across time. Legendary ninjas reunite in Naruto! Naruto Cross Boruto Ultimate Ninja Storm Connections. Available November 17th. Yeah, if you buy this game, you get what you deserve, man. This is why the anime community games never fucking improve. Don't buy this shit, chat. Do not. If you buy this shit, get it on a Steam sale. Get it for five, ten bucks, but. Do not support this shit, man. Yeah, you gotta support. You gotta you gotta speak with your wallet, unfortunately. This trailer is insulting to the fan base's intelligence. Did they really just do a rundown of the same game we've been playing over a decade? At least people see it. At least people see it. Uh it's fucking crazy. You said not even a Steam cell worthy. Well, the reason I say if you're gonna get it, get it on a Steam cell for like five, ten bucks, because you gotta keep in mind, Steam takes 30%, right? So if you get it for fucking 10 bucks, they only made <laughs> they only made what seven bucks off that shit maybe not even that because of taxes <laughs> like i said you gotta hurt their pockets bro yeah we playing lies of p after i get done with the news uh i'm only copping if it's in the humble bundle what is this uh tomb raider one second tomb raider the legend of laura crop official look teaser trailer is it is it anime Next premiere, Netflix premiered the first look at the 2024 animated. Oh, we got a Tomb Raider keep our eye on this. We'll keep our eye on this. I like the new, um, I like the new Tomb Raider games. So uh, we'll keep our eye on this shit. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, okay. No, you're fine. I was just making sure. It's not like he was choking on something. You got your ball? Get your ball. Aki dropped today on a ball, dude. Not you, the ball. Uh, Aki dropped today on uh, Street Fighter Six. Who's playing? I was thinking about maybe hopping on for a little bit for shits and giggles. I'll probably get my ass beat, though. New locations. You a geef, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And JP. I'm wait. I'm waiting. Um, I'm waiting for Akuma. I'm not gonna play her. I don't care about her. I'm waiting for Akuma or um, what's the dude who comes before Akuma? The boxer. I might. I might get the the season pass when that boxer dude. What's his name? Ed. Yeah, I might get the season pass when Ed comes out. Uh, because I'm halfway interested in him. 
Sorry, my bad. I meant to bring me the ball, dude. I meant to throw it out. Yeah, I might, I might wait for Ed and Akuma. I fucked that throw up. Yeah, we gotta bring Dudley back. She's a toxica, bro. Is it sweaty today? Is it sweaty? I think you would like Ed. I, I didn't get. I, I had by the time Ed came out in Street Fighter Five, I had been quit. I, I quit Street Fighter Five year one because that shit was ass, and I was like, I refuse to support that game. They didn't. They, they was not getting my money. Um, and then the worst part about Street Fighter Five is like I remember I would come back to it every once in a while. New characters would be there, but the online was still Basuda. Um, so it's like I was. I'm glad I never spent no crazy money on that shit. But uh, da, 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 da. all right, she's cool though. What's the what's the word on here? Y'all liking that character? Lego Brick Tales. Oh, this is a Meta Quest game. Mortal Kombat One got a patch. What's the patch for? Did they put private lobbies in there? Buy your kids some Legos. See, the problem with this game is these headsets only last like two hours. Maybe three if you put it on battery save mode. You want me to build like a thousand piece Lego set on a two hour battery and shit, bro? This shit gonna die and explode on your fucking head by the time you get done with it, joint. Just buy a Lego set. Am I the only one to be paranoid about that shit too? Like, that's another reason I really don't be trusting VR headsets and shit like that. Like, you expect me to play that shit like all day, that bitch be getting, you got a whole computer. Cause like, for those who haven't been keeping up with VR headsets, like a lot of these don't require a computer anymore. It's all built into the headset. You got a whole computer built into the headset and you put that shit on, you start playing these intensive games, that bitch start heating up. I just be afraid my head gonna catch on fire or shit gonna explode. You said really? That's insane. Yeah, they, it 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 was it started with the quest two. I have a quest two. That's what made it. Yeah, the quest two is like batteries only like two hours. That's what made it dope. You don't need a computer anymore. It's all in the headset. Um, but like the battery drains really quickly because it's a computer on your head. Yeah, sort our online vibes type bitch type shit. But apparently they announced a new headset today. We gotta find a video for that shit. Address the issues and evasions in weekly quests, brutality moves, and stability fixes. Interesting. Or am I pretending like I'm gonna play another one of these fucking survival games? I'm, listen, dear game developers, can we kill the survival genre? It's fucking boring, bro. Jesus. For over two decades, Counter-Strike has offered an elite competitive experience. One shaped by millions of players from across the globe. Yeah, we know. And now, Nerd shit. The next chapter in the CS story is about to begin. This is Counter-Strike 2. Getting sweatier. Leaderboards! Even more skins! I can't tell what's new other than it looks slightly better. Like terms visually. I oh, yeah, horrible tip, but I feel like there's too many rogue. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of roguelike games either. As soon as I see roguelike, click off. Like, bro, any game where it doesn't save my progression. I watched Ahsoka Episode 7, another fire. Yo, Ahsoka... Ahsoka's fucking killing it, bro, right now. Like, it's some great Star Wars content.